Hi there, Dr. David Lim, Board Certified Laser Dermatologist. Hey, thanks for watching this channel and today we'll be talking about a really common skin condition. In fact, um, it's frequently misdiagnosed as adult acne when it, it's in fact rosacea. So rosacea can have man, many forms as you will see later. It can present as pimples, redness, flushing, blushing, broken capillaries, or even enlarged noses. So uh, it's so super common. Bill Clinton suffers from it. Renee Zellweger uh, suffers from uh, rosacea. Cameron Diaz, Jay Leno, um, and in the UK, um, the royal family suffers from rosacea. So it is called Curse of the Celtics, um, and more common than obviously in Irish or um, anglo saxon um, uh, origins, and it can be treated but not cured. So how I approach rosacea is this, we work as a team. I'm a laser dermatologist, so I'll show you my methods of treating rosacea later on. But it's really important that there are medical methods to actually treat rosacea in natural ways as well. So the first thing you need to do is actually reduce your exposure to factors that can flare up um, rosacea. This may be stress, heat, alcohol, caffeine, spicy foods and hot drinks. The second thing is that not all people with rosacea will have the same trigger factors. So each one is unique. Rosacea is as unique as you are. So some people may have trigger factors such as um, stress or exercise. Some people may have even weird stuff like wasabi flares up your rosacea. So you've got to figure out your trigger factors. In winter, it's really important to protect your face with a scarf um, if you're living in a cold climate because cold wind is one of the number one trigger factors. Where I live in Brisbane, it's not so important, but it's the UV um, that actually flares it up. So when I laser my patients, there's usually two, two seasons. Uh, one is in winter, and the second is around September, October when the UV index is high. So sun and sun exposure and UV exposure can flare up rosacea. Fourthly, um, try to break the habit of touching your skin, um, even if it's itchy. So the whole idea is to actually use products such as these. Um, I, I don't endorse any products and I'm not a product guy, but look, it's important that the t medical team works with, uh, with myself and they often endorse products by uh, La Roche-Posay or um, um, Rosalac um, and um, Cetaphil, for example, as cleansers. So keep it really simple. Tip number five is uh, makeup. And I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, speak to our local makeup artist and get her view on what's good. Hang tight. Okay guys, so hey look, um, like I said I've got no idea about makeup but I've got someone here, Rochelle, who is an expert on uh, makeup. Rochelle, can you give us some tips in regards to um, your favorite makeup and... Um, so you want to use yeah. mineral makeup because it's a lot better for the skin. You're not going to um, irritate the skin or cool. harm the skin. Yep. Jane Ardell is probably the best one on the market. It's also going to give you covering too. It's not going to feel heavy on the skin. So that's why I like it so much. Very good. And um, no fragrances, no parabens as well, no, right? nothing in there. Yeah. Cool. Hey, look, I'm not all that bad with makeup, but um, hey, thanks for that, Michelle. That's okay. Cheers. <laughs> Well, these are the many faces of rosacea. You can see that it can manifest in many ways, including pimples, redness, flushing, blushing, broken capillaries, and large noses, the whole lot. The medical team uses creams and tablets. I use my favorite laser, which is a vascular laser known as the V-beam or pulse dye laser. Like I said, the laser choice for me for treating broken um, blood vessels and capillaries is a V-beam laser. Um, it's got an inbuilt cooling device, so it's very comfortable for the patient. Um, yeah, it still hurts, but um, it's much less painful than without actually the cooling device here. So here we go. Count of three, one, two, three. treating the broken capillaries and that's it done uh, this laser is really flexible. We have different hand pieces for it and different heads. In this situation, I'm using what's known as an elliptical um, spot size. So you can see I'm using this to actually trace the blood vessels. 
So we can either deliver it in the circle, it's like, like a 10 mil circle, or we can use an ellipse and actually trace the blood vessels and deliver the laser energy in a line. So I like using this because we can actually trace the vessels as well. Another laser which we I use is the KTP laser, which is a 532 wavelength, and that's a tracing laser. Here I'm using it in a different setting. You can see I'm using it in a spot setting. So it's a 10 millimeter spot size. And what I'm doing is that I'm double hitting, so I call it a double tap to the area. Um, I like what's called TIP or transient intermittent purpura. In other words, slight bruising, and this will give me a good endpoint. There will be some swelling for about a day or two, but this endpoint is really, really good for treating um, rosacea. And here I am treating it um, as well with the 10 mil spot size. You can see this lady has florid rosacea. Um, she's got extreme redness on her cheeks and her forehead. It's not caused by me lasering. It's actually, that's her natural um, skin color. So she needs about three to four treatments and I, I improved it by about 80%. So here I am using um, the V-beam in the elliptical setting. Once again, tracing those ALAR vessels, in other words, blood vessels around the nose. Uh, blood vessels around the nose are super common, and but they're really easy to treat. IPL, so IPL is not a laser, it's called Intense Pulse Light Laser. My two favorite lasers, I started off with the Luminous, um, which is excellent. It's a really, really good laser. But now I use the Cyton BBL. So both great lasers to treat um, rosacea in the redness setting. But most people actually respond to V-beam um, better than the IPL. Another way to treat IPL is called Long Pulse 1064 or Laser Genesis. So I um, use the laser of choice is the Kutira, so I like actually using the Kutira for this. Um, and it basically treats the overall redness and improves the skin tone. So we call it um, laser genesis or skin toning. That's great for rosacea. What, so what are the before and afters? These are typical cases of um, rosacea before and after. So this is about after two treatments using the V-beam laser, so with the pulse dye laser. And this is the before, um, before using the IPL, uh, and this is after two to three treatments of the IPL. So it's a marked improvement in the redness, and that's using IPL. So once again, it's, there are many, many different devices to treat um, rosacea. Um, this is a tracing laser, so I use this as a V-beam laser. So I used um, three to four treatments um, to get that um, result. And once again, V-beam is excellent on the nose, and certainly for resistant vessels, we can actually use the 1064 laser for that. So this is rhinophyma. Rhinophyma is the extreme variant of rosacea. It doesn't occur in everyone, but it occurs mainly in men with chronic inflammation, so inflammation over time. And the laser of choice I use is basically an erbium laser, but most often the CO2 laser. So generally speaking, I use an erbium first. I usually do two passes, the reason being is that my erbium is overclocked, in other words, super powerful, so I can actually get into the tissues deeper. Um, and after two passes of that, I usually get pinpoint bleeding, which means the erbium is hopeless, and then I swap to my CO2 laser. So what happens with this laser is that the laser acts as a sculpting tool. So I used to use what's known as um, a diathermy, but now with the event of lasers, it's much more accurate. Um, and usually it takes me about half an hour to perform this procedure uh, and it takes the patient several weeks before they recover. So this is the before. Um, this is how much tissue I remove. That's a huge amount of tissue, absolutely huge amount of tissue. I stop where there's the pilosebaceous glands are, so that's a good safety margin to stop. Um, and they hate me. They absolutely hate me for two to three weeks because it does take up to three weeks before it heals. But if you look at the before and after, these patients are the most thankful patients because you give them quality of life back. So imagine walking around with um, a nose like this, but then after laser treatment, um, you have next to a normal nose. So I love doing this procedure. I'd probably do at least one every week or one every two weeks. So I've done a couple of hundred before, and um, the outcome is always excellent. The chances of scarring is very, very slim especially if you respect the um, uh, conservative settings. So guys, there you have it. That's how I approach rosacea. I think it's a team effort. I think that you've got to be responsible for knowing your trigger factors, uh, trying your best to avoid it within practical limits. So, you know, if you want that red glass of um, wine, certainly have that, but realize that it can flare up. Uh, if you're going out in the sun, um, obviously use your sunscreen. 
into, if it's in winter, make sure you protect, protect yourself from the cold. So all of these factors help you. Your physician or your general dermatologist can certainly give you um, a helpful hint when it comes to anti-inflammatory creams, anti-inflammatory tablets. Uh, and myself as a laser dermatologist can certainly help you when it comes to the redness. So treating anything that's red, whether it be broken capillaries, flushing or blushing, or just generalized redness and pimples, vascular lasers can help. And for the extreme, extreme end of rosacea when, when it comes to fibers, as in, in large noses, um, that's my specialty and that's what I love doing. So, um, hey guys, remember, never give up, never give up. It's a team approach and um, like I said, if you approach it that way, you can get your rosacea under control, but never cured. So look, if um, Bill Clinton can't cure his rosacea, I don't think anyone can. Um, and same with Jay Leno as well. So hey, um, we've got to be realistic there. Hey guys, once again, thanks very much for uh, watching this channel. Um, a new website coming up very shortly in the next week or two. We're really excited for that. Uh, and I'll see you again next Saturday. Thanks, bye. Okay, um, in that website, I'll have a lot of links in regards to rosacea. So um, links to various sources, including um, external websites, but also um, handy tips and um, hints as to how to manage your rosacea medically. So um, stay tuned.